Welcome to my allotment, Plot 3, North Warwickshire. More seed sowing. Anybody that's following me, I'm now going to be planting some cauliflower all year round. Some broccoli, calabrese. Three different tomatoes. I've got about eight varieties this year. Tigrella. Alicante. And Marmandi, if that's how you pronounce them. So I'll get those now sown. I'll get them home into the airing cupboard to germinate and then I'll bring them back to the grow room and we can have a little update on that and see how long that candle lasted. I'll bring you back. So that's today's seeds sown. I had problems when I was using those plastic propagator lids sitting on uh, properly. So out of the last bit of bubble wrap from the previous grow room project I've just stapled a couple of pieces of bubble wrap together in a v-shape just to keep uh, the moisture in so that should work you've got your initial v-shape and then just staple down there as far as you can and I'm hoping that will uh, just keep the moisture in and uh, get the plants growing the candle burnt for 180 hours it hasn't been burning for the last couple of days I'll remelt all the bits into the next candle I make. Condensation's gone because I've had the door open two days. So the lowest it's got down to in the last two days inside there is 6.2. It's 13 now and it's got up to 16. And there are the other seedlings I did earlier. Looking very well. Looks like they're getting plenty of light. And it won't be long before I'm having to uh, thin them out. One per station. So that candle is what, 150 hours. So I should be putting that in position ready for when the cooler weather comes in the next few days I'll finish the fence I'm not putting any debris netting on but that's tidied that up nicely these are the only slabs I've actually not adjusted and I think I'm going to take those out and Lock down the bottom there, I'm going to wood chip it. So that's a job out of the way. And it looks reasonably tidy. It's cost me five pounds to do the whole length of the fence. Uh, one or two of my subscribers have been asking how I get uh, or where we can get the red wrigglers from. Uh, you should be able to just find them in your compost bin. So I'm going to have a little mess about now and see if I can find them. These are the, the ones you're looking for.
they do tend to uh, wriggle about a lot. I'll have another dig deep down. They're normally a little bit further down than that. I'm quite disappointed actually. How many are actually in here? But uh, yeah, if you can, uh, those are the sort of worms uh, you want, the little red wrigglers. And normally as soon as you open them up, uh, they tend to uh, wiggle around. I hope that's been some use. Thanks for watching everyone. It's nearly time for me to go back to work. I've achieved most of what I needed to. And the weather's been reasonably kind. Happy growing everyone. Take care till next time.